too. So ladies and gentlemen, friends and uh, fellow travelers, it's a great pleasure and privilege that we can continue here in London this uh, long interview which we've started with Heinz Mack a couple of months ago. Uh, it was a wonderful initiative actually of uh, Robert Flack which uh, brought us together. We wish Robert Flack who had an accident uh, just here a couple of days ago all the very best, that he feels better soon. Robert Flack is the director of the Bundeskunsthalle in Bonn uh, in Germany and is preparing this very big retrospective of uh, uh, Heinz Mack um, which is coming soon and Daniel Birnbaum, my colleague, the curator and director of uh, Moderna Museum in Stockholm and myself together with Robert Fleck visited Heinz Mack um, and did what was almost a marathon interview um, of several hours but there are so many urgent other things which we can hopefully uh, cover today and obviously particularly wonderful to do this conversation in such a great exhibition. Now to begin with the beginning, I wanted to ask you how it all started. If you could tell me about your epiphany. How did you come to art, or how did art come to you? Well, first of all, I would like to declare that I'm very grateful for Mr. Brown and his colleagues who organized this exhibition so beautifully and took a lot of care for realizing the catalog. And uh, second of all, I'm very happy that you are now, so we will have a little talk with each other. And if you don't mind, I will do a little um, statement. Who you are, my wife and my daughter, Valeria, we feel like guests, guests in this town in London, located in a very beautiful hotel, the Brown Hotel. And um, <laughs> so the kind of coincidence of name, I like the kind of coincidence of name. And uh, in our street, there's a little library. I was very surprised. And um, all of a sudden, I had a book in my hand concerning the really, yeah, let's call it wiki wit of Mr. Churchill. And um, it makes sense that I might um, mention this on the side, that he told somebody by, yeah, by His Highness our Lord and its infinity, um, our Lord didn't make any attempt to make, to give us an image of France. Fortunately, he said, of course not. Not of Germany. And um, some minutes later, he was accompanied by very important people from the political sphere in Canada, and um, he was obliged to do a speech in French language. And he had prepared everything very carefully, and with his manuscript in his hands, he started to speak in French. And um, Looking at the faces of the audience, he realized that all the French speaking people had not been delighted at all about his kind of pronunciation. But he agreed with the fact that somebody came in front of him and told him, if you don't mind, you would like to read your manuscript in French. So he spontaneously agreed with that. And um, when this brilliant pronunciation of the language had been done, this is lecture. He said, I'm so glad that I heard that <laughs> my speech is so well high leveled. I didn't know this before. So the reason is if my conversation becomes very bad, I ask my friend next to me to translate my bad. But your English and is great. No. <laughs> no more goes that I use. But Getting back to your question, if you repeat it once again, then I will remember it. Yeah, we thought to begin with the beginnings. <laughs> yeah. Beginning with the beginnings, how it like all started, how you came. If there was an epiphany at the beginning, how did you come? To, uh... Yeah. Well, there was no alternative somehow. That sounds a little bit exaggerated, but it's the fact when I grew up at the end of the war, education was really in, in the bed. And uh, I was surrounded by ruins and a lot of problems used at this time. 
And uh, I went from school to school, to higher up schools, and because sometimes teachers didn't come back from the war, or sometimes buildings had been destroyed. So my education was miserable somehow. But anyhow, um, I had the chance to do more or less a good examination for my superior school. And before this examination has happened, I got already uh, introduced to the Academy of Fine Arts in Düsseldorf. I was accepted as a pupil, and um, so I spent the first years in Düsseldorf. Also, it was somehow an intention of my parents and of my friends around and relatives around that I should become a musician playing the piano. But it will be a long story to explain why this didn't work because I was hurt. I was um, really hurt. Has for let's injured. Injured. I was injured by an attacking black soldier. He was completely drunken and he exclaimed very excited, I'll kill you. Fortunately, he couldn't succeed as much as be here. And um, my left hand, or exactly my little finger of the left, of the left hand, was in a bad situation, almost lost. So there was a chance to give up the career of the musician.